What is up everyone, Mr. Aviator here, bringing you another episode of The Sims 4 here on Aviator Games. You guys, last time we left off, we had a rager of a house party, and Victoria had a little bit of an awkward love encounter with Zeph, and she's hoping to kind of make up for that by inviting him over to the house, just her and him, well, and obviously Alana, but she'll be in a different room, and they're going to try to better acquaint themselves in this episode as Victoria tries to hit up on Zeph. But before we get into this episode, you guys, make sure you slap that like button, Lemonheads, if you're enjoying this series still and you want more episodes of The Sims 4. Let's go for 2,000 likes on this video. It really does mean the world to me, you guys, when we when we hit 2,000 likes each video. It lets me know that I'm doing a great job and that you guys enjoy what we're doing. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, it is 9.30 in the morning, so I figure that's pretty good time to invite Zeph over and see if he wants to hang out and have a good time. So... We'll invite Zeph, even though Jon Snow really well, likes um, <laughs> Victoria, I think, you know, Zeph is the guy for her. She's an athletic sim, but so is Jon Snow, but he doesn't look athletic. <laughs> Zeph looks athletic, so that's the sim she wants to hang out with. So we're going to see as soon as Zeph gets here. Here he is. He's come around every now and then I get a little bit closer. Okay, so let's let's try to build the friendship a little bit. Because one thing I noticed with Zeph is he does not like to hop into things. He literally gets so embarrassed and then like tries to shun her a little bit. And acts like he doesn't really appreciate everything she's saying. Oh my god, we have a lot of money and bills due. Okay, so Alana, what you're going to do, because we need some privacy. We can't have a group conversation going on here. We're going to have you come upstairs. And today you can just paint a painting or something to start. We're going to hook up Alana next episode. Uh, but this episode is all about Victoria and Zeph. they got to see if they can make something happen here. Right now they are friends, but they're not best friends. We want to get that green bar up quite a bit more before they start actually flirting with each other. Uh, so we'll tell him a funny story. We'll knock knock joke. Maybe do an impression. Um, discuss interests. What else could we do? Give him a hug. Uh, a deep conversation. He looks like he's having a bit of a boring conversation. He doesn't find her jokes funny at all. <laughs> Not at all. Is this the maid? Ah, oh, the maid's here. He's like, this sucks. <laughs> okay, so now what we're gonna do is make a flirtatious joke. See how he appreciates that. Uh, and then flatter him a little bit. And then, uh, can then maybe flirt. Let's see if he appreciates that. Okay, that's not the romantic stuff yet. Okay, he, he enjoyed that. Okay. So now what we're going to do is maybe a bit of a pickup line and then embrace him a little bit. Give him a nice hug. And then what else can we do? Um, compliment his appearance. We'll work with Zeph right now. Let's see. Zeph and Victoria's babies. I wonder what that would look like. Uh, okay, so romantic... What else can we do? We haven't held hands yet. Um, let's blow him a kiss. There we go. We're going to let all these work themselves out. She keeps walking away. Like, talk to the hand, the face, don't care. <laughs> she keeps doing that. Now they're going to stand up. They're going to embrace each other. We're going to fast forward. It looks like he's finding her quite irresistible right now. Um, we're going to go for the first kiss in a second here. I'm kind of excited to see if this works out. Oh, boy. It looks like they're having a pretty good time, you guys. Look at this. This is a very flirty day in the neighborhood for Victoria. <laughs> and it's working, too. Usually he denies her, but this is actually really working. And they look like your your typical Hollywood couple here. They're both, like, blonde and, like, totally beefed out. And it's just... It's, it's crazy. <laughs> Let's see which is a better pitch. Oh no, that you don't get to see Victoria's face. And to remember this, you got to see Victoria's face. So there we go. There's the lovely couple and they are making out. <laughs> well, first kiss. I guess it's more innocent than that. It's not a make out kiss. Um now we're going to ask him to be our boyfriend. It's official, guys. Let's see if we can make it official. And Victoria, oh, Zef said yes. It looks like Zeph and Victoria are now officially dating. So what she's going to do now is maybe give him a kiss. Uh, be a little bit enticing. Now, she's not going to give up the goods on the first date. Um, we're going to express our fondness with him and, and maybe do like some other little innocent things. Nothing like going all the way tonight. That's, that's just too much for the first date. You know, they just started dating today. I'd say you, you got to wait for the woohoo until a couple dates pass. But right now we're going to go to friendly. We're going to try to build up that friendship of theirs because it looks like their uh, actual love is up pretty high. So 
We're gonna try to build the friendship first uh, before we actually do the, the the deed, the deed, the thingy deed. We don't want to do that deed just yet. Brian is day. What else can we do? Uh, more choices. Flatter him. Um, so all the friendly things, because that friendliness that the, it's not as high. Looks like he's having a tedious conversation. He's not. Oh, now it's pleasant. Okay. Well, he's kind of really hard to impress here. He doesn't find many things funny, and we don't know what his interests quite are yet. So let's see if we can get to know him a little bit. See if we can discover any interests. Uh, he's now good friends with Victoria. Okay, that's what we needed. We need good friends. Let's get a passionate kiss here. Boom. Yes. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Uh, take a picture together. Maybe um, joke about the good old times. You know, they have only known each other a little bit. Then we'll share a secret, maybe. That usually brings friends closer together. Having a secret to, to tie between their friendship. And there you go. Both things are about evened out right now. About 75% with each one. Start a flirty painting. Let's do that. We want to get her her points. So let's see. Oh, you're painting on both right now. Alana, this one's yours. Sell to a collector. Sell to a collector. And you can paint. If you want to keep painting, you can do impressionism. Why not? And we're going to have her do a flirty painting. Because that's something she wants to do. So I think that date with Zeph went really well. And I'm excited to see how their future is going to go. You know, like, she... she she doesn't have commitment issues, but my thought with them was to be kind of promiscuous and kind of flirty and maybe working with multiple sims at one time. She's very inspired right now. I think this is going to be the perfect time to do a couple paintings since she's so inspired. Her skills should skyrocket with ease. Let's have her sell this to a collector. They both have been doing pretty well in their uh, in this like little painting field. Look at this, He's, she's painting the classical painting that Julie used to do all the time. Now they're chit-chatting, it looks like, about how the date went, and how great he is, and how great everyone is, and how great everything is great. <laughs> so it looks like they're having a little bit of a conversation about how the date went. Alana's a little jealous, she doesn't have anyone just yet. But Alana does have a couple guys to choose from, if you guys look. She does know, or she's, well, not, she's not friends, but she's got Jamie. And then she's got Thane. I, th I think Thane is the best match for her. Thane is someone we could probably invite over, too. After we're done painting, let's invite him over and see what he's up to. Okay, he'll be right over. Where are you, Thane? Thane, you over here yet? Oh, that's him. Okay, there he is. So let's have her go downstairs. Try to cheer up. It looks like his day must not be going too well. Go down there and try to cheer him up, Alana. And Zepf just left, but it looks like Thane is here. And they're not friends yet, they're just acquaintances, but I think Alana really likes Thane and wants to see what's wrong with him. Why is he so sad? Let's talk about dreams and and maybe, um, you know, ask about his day and see what's wrong. And then maybe try to cheer him up with a couple of jokes. Because we do know he is a goofy sim, so let's tell a funny story and a few funny jokes and hopefully we can get him out of this depressed sense of mind. We could share our melancholy thoughts too with him so we could relate with him a little bit. And then offer him a rose and kiss his hand and get to know. There we go. So let's see how this works. Uh, so we see that he's fine now. Oh, they're gaining a little bit of flirtiness here. Well, let's tell him an engaging story. Um, uh, not complaining about bills. Let's ask about his day again. And then let's go to romantic here. We're going to ask if he's single. Uh, flirt with him a little bit. Um, what else could we do? We could compliment his appearance. Okay, we want to we wanna try to seal the deal of friendship and, and, and romantic interest, at least today. So we learned that he's single. We learned that he's ready to mingle. We have to build friendship first. So let's take a picture together. Compliment appearance. Um, brain is day. Come on, you need to be friends. Oh, they are friends. But we want that friendship a little higher. I think Alana is more of a friends first, then maybe benefits later. We'll have to see kind of girl. So we're going to kind of work this angle really quick. And... Whoa, the romance is building up pretty quick, just as quick as the friendship. And there we go. She now had a little time with Thane, and Zeph obviously is enjoying Victoria's presence. Holy crap, Victoria has lost some weight. If you guys remember, when she became a teenager, she had that, that ghetto belly and booty. She's still got the ghetto booty, but the belly's gone. <laughs> that ghetto belly is gone. She looks a lot like her mom, Carmen, but the face, man, that face is just like Marshall. Let's have her, I guess, swim some laps. Try to keep that physique up. Boom. In she goes. I wonder what if she would actually swim laps around the house. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Okay, so she's going to swim. It is already 8.52 at night. 
I can't believe they both have like she's got a little thing going on with Thane, and she's already boyfriend girlfriend with Zeph. That's that's crazy. Okay, so we're gonna have her finish up eating, and it looks like she's gonna have to use the restroom real quick, and then maybe take a nice long shower, kind of forget about all of her troubles, then head upstairs. And it is already nine o'clock. We're gonna have her go to sleep. Let's have Victoria come upstairs now. Use this. She was already in the chlorine, so she, we should have her rinse that off her. And there we go. They can both be to bed by 10, 1030. Did she finish this? How much is this worth? $323. She was very inspired during that too, so I'm surprised it's not worth more money. Well, I guess she's not an artist. She's not in the artist's career, so they don't pay her art gallery prices. So that's the sad thing. So let's have them both go to sleep, burn the midnight oil away, and have an early morning. They can sell these paintings, and then we can probably plan... For the future, whether we should have uh, Zeph uh, come over again and maybe seal the deal, or if we should have Alana work a little bit more with with Thane. Uh, okay, so let's see. Okay, it looks like Alana's already awake today to start the day. We're going to have her go to the bathroom. Then she can grab something out of the refrigerator. Looks like we have some more of this mac and cheese left. Then once she's done, we can have her clean up all the dishes. Then let's check in on Victoria. Now, what does Victoria have to do? Victoria is going to go on the computer, it looks like. She's already had her fill of fun. Let's use the toilet. Go downstairs. Is she already done eating? Okay, good. Let's have her come in here and eat some of this. And that should be good. Then I want them to sell these paintings, too. Let's sell this to a collector. Let's resume this large painting. Which one is this large classic painting? Okay. So I'm going to have her finish eating before we have her do anything else today. What is this? Finish a painting. Okay, so that's something we can do. Obviously, she does like painting. Let's do Impressionism. We'll finish up a large impression, a pre Impressionism painting. And as you can see, they're both inspired already because I did put the Inspiration Aura in here, and it's really working. Let's sell this to a collector. $294. Uh, what does she want to do? Cook a meal. Okay, so since she wants to cook a meal, we could have her come down here. Um, let's have her serve breakfast scrambled eggs and then clean out the refrigerator and she can clean up the rest of the dishes in the house then come upstairs let's see what she's doing she's got to finish this painting start a new career and buy a workout machine we can buy a workout machine i gotta figure out where we would put it though that's the thing level six painter already you guys this is really impressive she really does like level up quickly uh with that inspiration lamp let me see where we can put some type of workout gear. We could put something in this entryway, but I really like the entryway, how it is kind of just barren and empty. I have 24 hours to pay the bills before the power goes off. The bills are like $10,000. <laughs> That's the worst part. Uh, pay bills, $9,200. And bills. So basically everything we've ever done is going to be gone and soiled because of that. So let's scrap that. Let's see how much we get for this painting. Minus 9200 bucks. And that's a very, very expensive day. Uh, if my monthly bills were that much, I would cry. I would cry every day. <laughs> okay, so fabulously wealthy. What does she want to be here? Okay. Uh, earn 75000 She's earned eleven. Reach level 8 in any career. So we have to wait for them to be able to get their career. That's the only thing. Um, and then she's got the same same little wants and needs. Become an adult. Uh, $25,000 reserve. Reach level 5 in any career. Whoa. L learning, earning. Okay, what's she? Well off. Oh, she's already well off. What level is she? Two of four. Okay, and she must be one of four because she just switched over. Yeah, she is. Okay, so I can't believe she's a two of four already. She's a shrewd. <laughs> They're both going to be very rich, wildly successful one day. But you guys, I think this is a great place to end this episode. I really hope you enjoyed. Victoria's with Zeph, and Alana is attempting to be with Thon. 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 Th what is his name again? <laughs> it's like Fane. Fane, I think it is. Thane, yeah, Thane. There we go, Thon. Thank you guys so much for watching. My God. If you guys enjoyed the episode, remember to slap that like button, lemon heads. If you watch the whole thing, comment down below. K I S S I N G. Kissing. You comment down below, kissing, because that's what Victoria did with Zef today. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, remember to take it easy. Live it squeezy.